Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am here with uh, Roberto Prestige. Press. I'm here with the director of the current show here at Trinity University. Uh, why don't you tell us how you got here? Uh, well, it, uh, there was a plane. I took a, pla a plane um, uh, from uh, my, uh, nat my country. I come uh, from I Italia. Oh, oh, what part? Uh, I come from the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, I'm not yes. familiar with that. Yes, uh, the, the, mush the Mushroom Kingdom. They, they have the Goombas. Mm. Ah, that's an ethnic group, I assume? An ethnic group of mushrooms. Uh, they, they, uh, they, are, they are everywhere. They, come t they, they, take, they take princess all the time. It is very troublesome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, current production? This, this play, this play, Dolls and Men, is, is wonderful. What do you like about it? Oh, I don't like, uh, originally it's wrong. Uh, what type of, uh, what types of things did you not like about it? What did you change? The first thing I changed was mu the music. The music was com completely, uh, it fits too well. It's a, a musical and you, you changed the music? Yes. <clears throat> what did you change it to? I have my own selection of music, of course, that I like to use for these such productions of times of of great need, as in, as in the case of dolls and men. But uh, I have a selection here for you today, Nicholas, if you would be so loud to hear it. Oh, absolutely. OK. I have brought the entire cast with me. They should be able to help with this. took me in and gave me breakfast. And she said, do you come from a land down under? A women go and It reminds me of home. No, I love this music. You're serious? No, it's John joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we would not use this for a play. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. No way. No, it was not, it's not good. But I will tell you, I did bring the actual music and we'll, we'll play it now. Play the music! Perfecto. No. You got me again. You got me. That that that's not in it, right? That's another joke, right? Well, what did I get? I don't. That is the music we are going to be using tonight. I don't understand. Se seriously, that's going to be in, in guys and dolls. Ga dolls and dolls and men. Yes, tonight. Why don't you tell me about your directing style? Yes, well, there are, there are, of course, a number of things to go into consideration any time someone wants to make a, a performance like this. The, the first, and I think probably most critical decision that anyone can make is whether or whether or not to use clowns in a performance. Clowns? Yes, yes. Uh, the use of clowns is, in my opinion, and I would say in the opinion of most great uh, playwright makers, directors, is, is absolutely crit critical. And what decision did you make for this particular play? Yes. Tell me about some of your other decisions. It is very critical to choose a play that best fits the director, who is, in fact, directing the play, which they will choose. And the important thing to keep in mind here is most often the title of the production. For me, I cannot direct anything without the Curly. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The, the Curly, like in... Uh, Romeo, Curly, Juliet. Oh, the ampersand. Yes, the Curly. Mm. So you only want to do plays with an ampersand in the middle? Uh, no, the Curly can come anywhere in the title. Tell us about your future projects. The Lion, the Wardrobe, Curly, the Witch. That's, that's a play? It will be soon. I am in process of writing it as we speak. I am thinking of dialogue just now. Actually, for the clowns. It's going to be clowns in it? There are already clowns in it. Uh, tell me about how your, your actors feel during this whole process. 
Sometimes they ask me for food or for sleep, but I tell them, you must, you must focus. You must want to do this thing and not to do this thing bad. If you do that bad, then we must redo the thing. And then you must focus more. Are your actors in, enjoying the experience? Yes, everyone comes for the full 48 hours of the weekend. Okay, well, that was uh, Roberto uh, Press, the director of Guys and Dolls. Dolls and Men. Whatever. And that will be showing at a theater near you, I believe right down there, all this week, so check that out.